Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Tittle Tattle Tarot. Um, I'm returning to last year at the Met Gala when Kim Kardashian wore Marilyn Monroe's famous dress, the dress in which she sang Happy Birthday, Mr. President, the gold nude dress, beautiful, beautiful creation made specifically for Marilyn by Bob Mackey, I believe. And there were people coming down on both sides. Some people said, no, she should never have worn it because, you know, it was such um, an iconic dress that was only ever intended to be, wear be worn by Monroe. And other people said, oh, you know, she looked fantastic in it. And, um, you know, absolutely perfect. Um, some people worried about damage to the dress. And, you know, all of these things were talked about. Um, did she damage it? Some people say she did. Other people said that she didn't. Well, I would like to come at this from Marilyn's point of view. And I would just like to try and find out from the cards what Marilyn thought of it. What did Marilyn think of Kim Kardashian wearing that dress? And anything the cards can show me would be fascinating. Let's just try and tap into Marilyn's energy and just see what she thought about this dress making an appearance once more. Dress that was made purely for her and the dress she wowed the president and wowed the world in. What did you think? Let's just see if anything pops. Let's just see what the cards will tell us. Yeah, I'm starting to feel the energy in them now. So, you know, one more time. And then we're going to pull from the top. Just a few cards. Let's see what Marilyn thought. quite a mix here the ace of swords that one sort of stands out at me because um the ace of swords upright i would say that's a yes card yes you know how how lovely that she wore it um i get the impression that no not not quite so happy about that um speaking you know plain truth no no it's a no card. Um, I don't think she should have worn it. Um, somebody spent, oh, look at this tailor. What a lovely depiction of the Eight of Pentacles. And this is perfect for the dress. Somebody spent an awful lot of time creating this dress purely for Marilyn. Um, they cut the cloth, um, all the, um, I'm not quite sure what was on it, what, what kind of jewels were on it, but it was very heavy. Um, and, and it pulled down on the dress and it must have taken an awful lot of labour. Look at this little, whatever he is, a beaver and he's he's got his scissors and he's he's cutting away and he's spending time creating this wonderful, wonderful dress. So it was so labour intensive and a lot of love went into making that dress. So much hard work. Knight of Cups, it took a long time. And again, it's love. It took a long time. And it took this person a lot of love. And not just not just Bob McKee, Mackie. He was the one who designed it. Um, I'm sure he didn't actually cut it and put it together. And I think it was just his designs. As He was only about 23, I think, when he did it. Um, but it took a long time. And it was done with such love. There was so much attention put into this dress. And um, the Queen of Wands in reverse. I sort of see the Queen of Wands. If this had been this way up, I would have said, and again, if this, if it had been this sort of layout, I would have said, yes, she was very happy because she was passionate about the dress. And um, she thought that, you know, the work that had gone into it, it should be seen again. But I don't think Marilyn felt like that. Um, that's definitely a no not happy about that and then the queen of wands well as i say this way up passionate and thinking oh yes you know um if, if you want that to happen then that should happen and you know go ahead and look wonderful look stunning in this this beautiful dress look like a goddess 
but the other way up is quite sort of um no it's not right for you um i i don't think that you should be doing that um sort of taking taking the passion away from it no i'm i'm not i'm not pleased um i don't wish you the best in this dress um I don't think you should be doing it. I don't think Marilyn was pleased. Now, why was that? Was that because because of the dress and because of all the work that had gone into it? Or was it because of some other reason? Was it the dress itself or her feelings about the dress and what it represented? This is interesting. Um, so what was it, Marilyn? Was it was it because the dress itself had been made for you? It was your dress. And you should have been able to say who wore it and obviously you could never do that or was it about what the dress represented um what were your deeper thoughts what were your deeper thoughts marilyn about the dress anything the cards care to show us about what marilyn really felt not so much about the dress but what the dress represents Anything the cards can show me. It's one or two cards. One or two cards. Hmm, I just feel drawn to that. Let's have that. The moon in reverse. And the two of pentacles. The moon in reverse. Um the right way up it's very feminine energy i mean look at this <laughs> you couldn't get more sort of marilyn or more kardashian could you in, in this wonderful dress standing there on the stage singing happy birthday mr president <laughs> or you know being at the met gala and being center stage in this wonderful dress but the moon is um a little bit of deception, a little bit of things going on underneath that you don't really know about. Look at this little crabby creature down here, um, sort of scuttling around. There, there's all sorts of things going on. Now, this is in reverse. I think that Marilyn felt that, in a way, Kim was trying to be her. She was trying to trying to be Marilyn um I I think that Kim had dyed her hair or was wearing a wig I don't know if she'd actually dyed her hair blonde but um she was trying to really capture Marilyn which um I don't think Marilyn was happy about she saw that as um sort of misrepresenting her let's let's put it like that she saw it as um deceptive and wrong because Kim was trying to represent this goddess that Marilyn had been but Marilyn didn't want to be represented in the future as this kind of goddess Marilyn was trying to juggle things and she wanted to be more of a serious actress and um you know although she did this wonderful appearance happy birthday Mr President and wore this wonderful dress inside she she wanted to be seen as a serious actress and i think the older she got it was more important for her to be doing more serious roles that's what she really wanted and i think with kim kardashian wearing this dress um it reinforced marilyn's legacy as she saw it as this blonde bombshell this you know this character and i think marilyn really wanted her legacy to be more um, more of a serious actress um, I think she felt misrepresented in a way a bit sort of ah uh, like like you're um, doing a caricature of someone that Kim was just showing one part of who Marilyn was you know by by having her hair blonde and you know slinking around in the stress I don't know this is the kind of feeling that I'm getting can we have one more card just to see if I'm on the right track with this one more card please one more card please just try and sum up things 
Am I on the right track with this? She just felt a little bit misrepresented. Almost there, almost there. Please talk to me, cards. Come on, please talk to me. I only need one more. One, two at most. And then go from the top, and if it feels right, I'll just take from the top. It's gone. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I think that this Ace of Pentacles is saying that I'm on the right track with this. Um, she wanted her legacy to be to be planted in her acting careers and you know um the the, the various films that she'd done. Um and she wanted people to remember her great talent as an actress, a comic actress, um, a more serious actress as well. That's what she really wanted, the serious roles. And I think that had she lived, she was hoping that she would be able to develop more serious roles and let them grow and, and you know, let them develop. And I think by wearing this dress now, it kind of um, makes people again think of Marilyn, but makes makes them think of her in this specific way happy birthday mr president um which was part of her life and um you know it, it was a very iconic moment but i think looking at this and looking at the above it's something that yes she did but it was only one very small part of her life and i think that she would hope that her legacy would be much more of the whole creative body of her work than just one slinky dress. Um, so she knew that so much work had gone into this dress, a lot of love, but she didn't want somebody else wearing it. She, she didn't give her blessing for it because she felt that it was making a caricature of her and just making people remember her as happy birthday, Mr. President. And she was juggling so hard to make her career more than just this sex symbol. And she wanted people in the future to look back and see a more rounded actress, somebody who was doing much more character roles. And had she lived, she would have gone on and um, done much deeper roles. So, oh, that's that's my opinion of the dress. Um, it, it, Marilyn wasn't wasn't happy that the dress came out again because it made her a caricature in a way. Um, uh, how interesting. I wasn't expecting that at all. But that's a little tale that the cards have given me. Lovely insight. Um, I don't know what you think, what you thought of her wearing that dress. Um, I had no thoughts at all about it. Um, I knew of it, but um, I didn't think about it one way or the other. And then today I just thought, well, how lovely to just see if we can just ask Marilyn, what did she really think? And I think that's our answer. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, another little quirky read here. And I'll be back very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.